By taking over Def Jam, Jay positioned himself to make that label's pre-existing superstars his new crew. Instead of being closely associated with Beanie Siegel and Freeway, he became associated with Kanye and Rihanna. It was a major commercial upgrade, and unlike when he was running Rockefeller Records, Jay didn't have to put in any work grooming them or invested money in their careers. Def Jam had already done that. It was like moving into a fully furnished home. And better still, after he stopped running Def Jam, Kanye and Rihanna still saw Jay as their boss. He got to take all that furniture with him when he moved out. I salute Jay for a sophisticated strategy. There was nothing unethical or disloyal about it. He gave those Philly artists plenty of opportunities when they were on Rockefeller Records. But when they never quite became what he set them up to be, he was savvy enough to move on. A lot of people hesitate to make those moves. They'd rather stay connected to those same group of people, even if those people aren't getting them closer to success. Jay didn't fall into that trap. Still hasn't.